You know, sometimes on the tee box, a hole's going to deceive you by the things you don't see versus the things that the hole wants you to see. Stick around, and I'm going to show you how to play smarter golf without ever swinging a golf club. Hi, I'm PJ, Master Professional of Instruction and Top 25 Instructor of Golf Tips Magazine. I'm John Hughes. Thanks for being a subscriber to my channel. If you're not already, click my logo and ring the bell. You get notified every time we send a new video out, but most importantly, by subscribing and watching, we know the content that you wanna see and we make more of it because of that. I'm here at Macklemore, the Highlands course, my summer home in 2023 and 2024. And one of the things about this course, it really shows an etic that if you put it to use, you can play smarter. And it comes down to two simple phrases. What you see looking forward on a hole may not be in play, particularly if what you see, don't see it looking backwards. And the other etic is what you see looking backwards is actually in play. So I'm gonna use two or three holes here at the Highlands course to demonstrate that and help you play smarter without ever swinging a golf club. So as we're standing on the par five first hole, it can be looking long and intimidating, a uh, fairway bunker to the left, a rock outcropping to the right, another fairway bunker very long into the fairway on the right hand side. Cannot see the green. However, is this really the play? Should that bunker be intimidating you? What this bunker is actually doing that Reese Jones, Bill Bergen put there is to sort of force you to look right which is actually the correct way of looking at this hole because the further right you are, the more the carom of the fairway takes you into the center. The longer the shot you hit, the shorter approach shot. So you're looking at this as I'm showing it to you, but let's go to the green to show you what I mean by what you don't see from the green that you did see from the tee. Okay, so now we're on the green of number one, and let me point out to you the things that we saw from the tee box that we see from here because those are the things you have to be aware of and actually use as targets and or avoid. In this case, Mr. Bergen, Mr. Jones left that right fairway bunker into play and you can see that the lip is lower on our right hand side, your left hand side trying to play it. The berm is up to the right hand side. That's to keep you from going in the junk if you happen to miss it. They've actually done you a favor and you can also see the rock outcropping on the right hand side of the fairway. That's your aim point. You can now see how the fairway cambers back from right to left into the middle. What has disappeared? What's disappeared was the fairway bunker to the left. It's now hidden. It's hidden by not only the, the mounding, but also the trees, the corner of the trees. That bunker is really what you want to steer away from. So as they put it there and sort of forced your eye to the right, they were doing you a favor. They said, play it right, let the camber bring the ball back to the middle, leaves you a very fair shot for a second shot in or even two shorter shots to lay up, make your par, if you get lucky, you make your birdie. But in this case, what we don't see is not in play. What we do see is actually in play and we have to guard against it and or play to it. And in the case of hole number one, the Highlands course at Macklemore, let's play to that bunker. Let's play to that rock outcropping. That's the hint as to where you should play and how much smarter you can be playing with the current skills you have. Let's look at another hole and see how that all plays out again. Now let's look at the par four number two hole, the Highlands course at Macklemore. We're on the second tee box. And as you can see, there's a body of water there. That's the only body of water on the entire property of the golf course. And we're going severely down a hill. So this in your mind makes it feel and look like that water is very close to you. But also in your mind, you're sort of thinking and wondering what's around that right side, especially if you're a right-handed golfer and fade the golf ball. That's what you can't see. Do we need to steer away from it? Maybe not. But once we get to the green and we look backwards, you're gonna have a totally different perspective of what you can do from this tee box and where you should be to maximize your potential to make a par. 
as always when looking from the green you want to look for the things that you saw from the tee box and in this case it's most obvious the body of water and now we can confirm that body of water goes further towards the tee than meets the eye the better player playing a shorter club off the tee is going to have a little bit longer approach shot into this pretty average and fair green but it's going to keep you from going in the water for the slicer who was wondering what's behind those trees if we look to our left from here our right from the tee box there's a penalty area full of rocks high grass water go ahead and fade it around the trees take your lumps take your penalty and i'm going to walk away with a par playing it more towards the water and just letting a shorter club give me a little bit longer approach shot in versus getting too aggressive here. Again, understanding the hole and understanding the hole looking backwards provides you what the architect is trying to tell you to do so you can smartly play for par. Okay, one of the all time greatest holes, at least in Georgia, if not anywhere, is the number six canyon hole of the Highlands course at Macklemore. Talk about not being able to see anything from the tee looking to the green or vice versa. This is the epitome of it. And that's why I've taken you here. I know the golf course and I'll give, give you a little bit of insider trading here, but what if you had never played this hole before? What should you do? Well, looking outward, that looks like there's a whole lot more room left than there is right. I can sort of see where it slopes hard left to right. That's a hint. Looking forward and I see some hints, I wanna take those hints. And I've got a ton of different targets to go to, especially in October as the leaves turn colors. What you'll see that the more you play left and long, the better off you are coming into this green because all the trouble that you cannot see is actually to the right even though when you get up there to hit your approach shot you think you're going to be hitting it dead into trouble now on this green this is where you can see everything you need to see to play this hole correctly from the fairway all you could see was this rock outcropping and it looks treacherous it's a penalty area no doubt and will you ever find your ball in there who knows but we're talking about a penalty. But most importantly, what you cannot see from the fairway that you can see from here is the rock outcropping about 70 yards short of the green. To the right, what do most right-handed golfers do? They fade the ball. Is that there purposely? Not purposely, but it was designed into the hole purposely. You gotta be able to understand what's ahead of you. And by looking at, looking at coals backwards and playing them backwards, even going on Google Earth and looking at these backwards, you begin to understand what architects are doing to you when they place things in fairways, but most importantly, what they're trying to tell you. Play the hole backwards in your mind. Play the hole backwards in your strategy. When you do, it offers your best opportunity to play for par. If you have any questions, comments, about playing your golf course backwards because it'll work on them all. Leave your questions and comments below. More than happy to help and I'll answer as many as I can as quick as I can. Thanks once again for subscribing. Come on back. We wanna help you improve your golf skills, but also help you play smarter with the current skills you have.